All right, David, thank you. And as we learned this week, it is tow truck season. It's that time of the year when the snow flies from the sky and the cars fly from the road. But if you're unfortunate enough to need a tow for your car, will COVID leave you stranded on the side of the road? News 8's Joe Lafergy is live in Grand Rapids with that story. Joe. Tow truck companies have been hearing from their insurance companies who are concerned about limiting the spread of COVID. Don't let customers in the cab of your tow truck. From highway pileups to driveway slide offs, it's been a busy 24 hours for tow truck drivers. Anytime you get this weather, you're going to get busy and it's expected. And if you need a tow, chances are you'll also need a ride. But be warned, some tow truck operators have been told by their insurance providers no passengers in the cab of the truck while COVID continues to spread. They kind of sent out a mass tax that says, you know, you're not allowed to ride with the, with the truck, and if you can find alternate transportation, do so. Social distancing is one way to battle the spread of COVID, and it's a bit difficult to do in the close confines of a truck cab. But Felty, who owns HD Recovery in Wyoming, says it's bad enough your car's broken down or you've been in a crash. I'm not going to leave somebody stranded on the side of the road. You know, it's especially in weather like this. Felty and his dozen or so drivers are still taking precautions to avoid COVID. If you're getting in his cab, be sure to mask up. But as long as people have masks and you take the necessary precautions, we don't mind people riding with us. The rules vary depending on the insurance company and tow operator. Some insurers will offer to call you a ride sharing service if you can't ride with a hook. Every tow service is different. I can't speak for the whole industry. Um, I would definitely ask if they are, you know, first off that, I can't get a ride. Would I be able to ride with the truck? And what a difference a day makes. We're back, back here live looking over I-196 to Ford Freeway through downtown Grand Rapids, getting to the tail end of the rush hour. And as you can see, traffic both east and westbound moving rather well tonight. Big difference from this time when we were out here last night. Live in Grand Rapids, Joel Lafergie, News 8.